Hello my dear students I welcome you all back in the math classes and I hope you all are perfectly fine so students in this video we are going to discuss chapter 11 which is measurement of length so let's start with what is length length is the measure of distance between any two points there are two units of length in which length can be measured non standard and standard units so first we'll see what is non standard unit of length so a non standard unit is a unit used for measurement that has no fixed definition in terms of standard unit of measurement so which means it does not gives the exact measurement of any object we can measure a length with the help of our body parts or any objects here are some examples of non standard unit hand span palm digit cubit pace foot span arm span these are the examples of body parts used for measuring length now cubes yarn paper clips pencil shoes etc are the example of object used to measure length now let's see what is standard unit of length a standard unit is a standard measure that remains the same whenever wherever and by whoever it is used which means standard unit is a fixed measure of length and it does not change from person to person the standard unit of length based on the metric system is a meter means the standard unit of length is meters or we can represent meters by m now let's see some measuring tools for measuring the length in standard unit so these are the measuring tools that we use to measure the length all measuring tools shown are in the standard units ruler tape measure meter stick and measuring tapes these are some examples of standard unit most commonly used metric unit of length are millimeters mm centimeter cm meters m and kilometers km so here it is given in smaller to greater unit of length so millimeter is the smallest unit and then centimeter then meters and this kilometer you can see here this fingertip is about 1 mm and the length of the pencil is about centimeters and this length of the pipe is about meters and the distance covered from one city to another city is measured in kilometers so here you can see millimeter mm is the smallest unit of length and it is said to be 1000th of a meter and now let's see some relations between the units of the length so 10 mm is equals to 1 cm 10 cm is equals to 1 dm means decimeter 100 cm is equals to 1 meter and 1000 meter is equals to 1 kilometer so here you can see kilometer is the biggest unit of length now let's see length conversion how we'll do the conversion of length so the base for length is the meter as we know 1 kilometer is equals to 1000 meter 1 meter is equals to 100 cm and 1 cm is equals to 10 m mm if we have to convert from bigger to smaller unit so we'll multiply by 10 100 or 1000 or if we have to convert from smaller unit to bigger unit so we'll divide by 10 100 or 1000 now let's see the conversion of meter into centimeter and vice versa means from centimeter to meter also so we know that 1 meter is equals to 100 cm so here we have to follow these three rules to convert meter into centimeter or centimeter into meters so first rule number 1 to convert meter into centimeters we multiply the number of meters by 100 rule number 
to convert meter and centimeters into centimeters we multiply the number of meters by 100 and add it to the number of centimeters now the last rule number 3 is to convert centimeters into meter and centimeter we divide the number of centimeters by 100 so let's see some examples so example 1 Convert the following length into centimeters. So let's see here 12 meter is given. So for converting 12 meter into centimeter, first we have to multiply 12 into 100. So the answer is 1200 centimeters. Now B is 7 meter and 54 centimeter. So here first we'll convert the meter part into centimeter and then add both the centimeters together so for converting 7 meter into centimeter we have to multiply by 100 after multiplying we get 700 centimeters and 54 centimeter is already in centimeters so after adding we get 754 centimeter which means 7 meters and 54 centimeter in is converted into centimeters so we'll get 754 centimeters now example 2 is convert the following length into meters and centimeter so here first number is 765 centimeters so for that we have to divide the number in centimeter by 100 so after dividing we see the quotient is 7 and the remainder we get is 65 so question become the meters and the remainder become the centimeters. So we get 7 meters and 65 centimeters. Now let's see the second example. So which is 3974 centimeters. So we have to convert this into meters and centimeters. So for that we have to divide it by 100. So after dividing we can see here. The question is 39 and the remainder is left which is 74. So again we can do the question become the meters and the remainder is centimeter. So the answer is 39 meters and 74 centimeters. Now let's see the conversion of kilometers into meters and vice versa. We know that 1 kilometer is 1000 meter so for that also we have to follow some rules so rule number one to convert kilometer into meters we multiply the number of kilometers by 1000 rule number two to convert kilometers and meters into meters we multiply the number of kilometers by 1000 and add it to the number of meters now the last rule number three is to convert meters into kilometers we divide the number of meters by 1000 let's see with some examples so first convert the following lengths into meters so first is four kilometer and we have to convert it into meters so for that we have to multiply four into 1000 so after multiplying we get 4000 meters now second is 2 kilometers and 58 meters so for this conversion we have to first convert 2 kilometers into meters after multiplying 2 into 1000 we get 2000 meters plus 58 meters so after adding we get 2058 meters which means 2 kilometers and 58 meters is converted into 2058 meters. Now let's see other example. So here convert the following length into kilometers and meters. So here some meters are given and we have to convert it into kilometers and meters. So first 6002 meter and we have to convert it into kilometer and meter so for that we have to divide it by thousand so after dividing we can see here we get six as quotient and two as the remainder so 
similarly as we have done in meet in meters and centimeter so question become the kilometer and the remainder become the meter which means the question become the bigger unit and the remainder become the smaller unit so 6002 meters is converted into 6 kilometers and 2 meters now second one is 5396 meters so after dividing by 1000 we get 5 as question and 396 as the remainder so question become the bigger unit which is kilometer and the remainder becomes the smaller unit which is meters thus 5396 meters is converted into 5 kilometers and 396 meters now let's see how we do the addition of length so first here add 43 meter 25 centimeters and 15 meters 16 centimeters so for this also you have to follow some steps so first step is arrange the numbers into two columns of meters and centimeters as you can see in this picture the right hand side you have to put the centimeter and the left hand side you have to put the meters and arrange it according to their units now step two is adding centimeters so first we have to do the addition of centimeters so after adding 25 centimeter and 16 centimeter we get 41 centimeter and after that you have to write 41 under centimeter column now step 3 adding meters which means you have to add the meters after centimeters so after adding 43 meters and 15 centimeter we get 58 meters so write 58 under meter columns therefore the sum is 58 meter and 41 centimeters similarly you can do for kilometers and meters also so in this example find the sum of 49 kilometer 215 meters 182 kilometers 96 meters and 64 kilometer 276 meters so for that also you have to follow the steps so first step is similar to the previous one which is arrange the given length into two columns of kilometers and meters which means first you have to arrange the numbers into the given units so in left hand side you have to write the bigger unit and the right hand side you have to write the smaller unit now step two is adding the meters means adding the smaller unit so first we'll add 215 meters 96 meters and 276 meters after adding we get 587 meters write 587 under meter column step 3 is adding kilometers means adding the greater unit so for here you have to add 49 kilometer 182 kilometer and 96 kilometer so after adding we get 295 kilometers right 295 under kilometer column so therefore the sum is 295 kilometers and 587 meters now how we'll do the subtraction so students subtraction is also similar as the addition if you know the addition then you can do the subtraction also so let's see with some examples here subtract 625 kilometer 115 meters from 810 kilometers 250 meters so here also first we have to arrange the numbers into columns of kilometers and meters so first in right hand side you have to arrange the numbers of meters and in left hand side you have to arrange the numbers of kilometers exactly like given in this picture now step 2 is subtracting the smaller unit so here smaller unit is meters so first we'll subtract the meters and then kilometers 
so after subtracting 250 meters minus 115 meters we get 135 meters write 135 under meter column now step 3 is subtracting the bigger unit so here bigger unit is kilometer so 810 kilometer minus 625 kilometer is equals to 185 kilometers right 185 under kilometer column so therefore the difference is 185 kilometer and 135 meters now let's see how we'll do the subtraction of meters and centimeters so let's see with this example find the difference between 58 meters 29 centimeter and 90 meters 64 centimeters so here also first arrange the given length into two columns of meters and centimeters now step 2 is subtracting centimeters so first we'll do the subtraction of smaller unit so after subtracting 64 centimeter minus 29 centimeter we get 35 centimeter and write 35 under centimeter column now step 3 is subtracting meters so 90 meter minus 58 meter is equals to 32 meters and write 32 under meter column so therefore the difference is 32 meter and 35 centimeters hope you have understood all these topics of this measurement of length now let's see the activity so here activity is given measure the height of your family members in centimeters and write down the measurement of every family member's height in SR copy along with their names that's all for today thank you